Real estate looks a little bit different in 2023, doesn't it? So Brandon Turner, the founder and the host of the largest real estate podcast in the world, invited me to come on and speak about one of five different asset classes that's still working in 2023 in this market, in this economy, with these interest rates. And you know, of course, I spoke about co-living. This video is that interview. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it inspires you to take some action towards your financial freedom in the co-living space. See you soon. Yes, sir. My name is Sam Wiegert. Um, I run a company called Scale Your Real Estate, and we teach and build and rent co-living. So you can call it co-housing, call it co-living, rent by the room strategy. It's got a bunch of names on it. Co-living's the newest up-and-coming hip name, so I like to go with that one. Mm, that does sound better than rent by the room. It just sounds like good, it. right? Co-living. Yeah. Yeah. Co-living. That sounds good. All right, so what is co-living and how do like how does that why is that working right now? Why do you think that's good for the future? Do you think it's good for the future? And how should somebody get into that? Man, I, I feel like all the data points you just gave me totally teed up co-living. Like I was thinking the whole time, I was like, this is why co-living is uh-huh. like why I'm all in on co-living. Like co-living is an affordable housing strategy where you rent a room. So you take a single family house and it might be three bedrooms and you convert it to six or seven or I've converted some to eight or nine. And of course, some people on here might be thinking that's crazy. And how do you get that many people to live together? And we don't have time to dive into all the details. But if the systems are right, it can work. And, and Brandon, I was even going to challenge you. I was like, man, I just bought a $400,000 house that I'm going to be renting out for pretty dang close to 2%. It's going to mm. be, mm. be almost 8K when I rent it out by the room. That's pretty close to 2%. You're right, so, man. That's- um, so, it's, it, so it's good You're from right. an investor standpoint. And the truth is, I think it's solving a, a, really, big, a really big problem. And it's, um, it's just not commonly known right now. And so our biggest, one of our biggest challenges is just education. I remember um, when Uber first came out, people were like, wait, how are you going to get people in your car? And Airbnb first came out, like, who's going to yeah. rent your house? And they're going to find it on what? I feel like that's kind of where co-living is right now. People are learning about it. And um, I'm just excited to educate people more about it. Dude, I love that. Yeah, you know, I uh, I actually bought a house here in, in Maui um, with that idea. I was going to rent it out by the bedroom. I ended up right. getting a Section 8 tenant, and I and she's taking most of the rooms now. So I did it a little bit differently, but I've yeah. uh, ever since hearing you talk about it, really, like I've gotten really intrigued by it. So let me ask you, like, what is, like, let, what am I looking for? Am I just looking for a massive house that I can rent out? Uh, and then, yeah, let's start with that question, and then I have one more. But go ahead. Yeah, how do I, yeah, like, what am I yeah. looking for? Like you're, you're looking for no HOAs, you're looking for a house that can accommodate parking, and you're looking for square footage. Uh, if it has more full bathrooms, that's obviously a plus. So we won't look at anything less than 2,200 square feet or so. Um, usually if a home is 1,500 square feet, I just kind of know automatically after looking at hundreds of these homes that you can get four bedrooms in that home. And then every 250 square feet beyond that, uh, is an additional room. So if I'm a 25, if there's a 2,500 square foot house, that's an eight bedroom home. Usually, unless it's just like a super open concept home with tall ceilings and flowing, you know, if it's, if it's older than, you know, 2000, then it's, it's probably not going to be like that. So you're looking for a lot of square feet. <clears throat> that makes a lot of sense. Uh, now here, the biggest objection I hear to this is like, yeah, but I don't want to, how am I going to manage four, five, six, seven, eight people in a house? That sounds like hell. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah. And and one of the things I tell people is like, it's it's not, it's actually less management than say an eight. Let's say you had an eight unit multifamily building. Like you still have to manage eight leases. But mm-hmm. in that case, when you're managing an eight unit multifamily building is you have eight refrigerators and you have eight dishwashers and you have eight stoves. Well, in our homes, we maybe have one or two, two, uh, you know, refrigerators. And so, so from some aspects of it, like from an actual uh, property management, it's less management. And mm-hmm. then from a tenant management, it is, um, it is more management from a tenant management. The number one thing that we found, though, is, is the vetting process on the front end, having an incredibly solid lease where we have the house rules for this, you know, co-living house that people sign off of. And the lease needs to give you the ability to evict based on someone breaking those house rules. If you have that in place, then you can vet based on those house rules and you can move people out if you have to based on those house rules. And the truth is, man, there's also these huge venture backed companies. There's Pad Split, there's Bungalow, there's Common, um, there's Live Home Room. I mean, we're talking, you know, I was on the 
phone call today with the CEO of PadSplit. They're at 6,700 rooms and growing super rapidly. Like there are venture back companies because this is this is like the beginning of a trend in, in my opinion, right? Especially solving this affordability thing that you've just been talking about. And so there, they will manage your property. There are companies out there that will manage them in, in markets, pad splits in almost every market across the United States right now. And then there's other smaller companies uh, that, that'll do it as well. Man, that's so good. All right, man, well, where do people find out more about you and, and kind of like what you've done? Uh, you have any resources they can point you to? You can point them to? Yeah, scaleyourrealestate.com. Um, I, I, one of my greatest passions is just educating people about this. And um, we're actually doing a five-day challenge. People can can jump on and just, we're giving away value. And so that's that's probably the best way, scaleyourrealestate.com or at Sam Weger on Instagram. Awesome, man. I love it. I will, uh, yeah, definitely check that out too. So thank Thanks, you. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. We'll see you soon.